Hi guys, it's BB. Today I would like to talk about a plant called the St. John's Wort. It's actually a toxic plant and it grows mainly in the fields where we let our horses graze. So it's quite important to know what it looks like so you can remove it if you see one. I have been in the forest trying to locate these plants and I have seen a few from just popping out of the ground till actually quite a large size. So let's check them out and see what they look like. So I put the plants which I picked, I put them on the grass because that's actually where they grow. They grow between the normal grass plants and they're very good at disguising themselves. So let's see if you can pick them out. I have laid down seven plants. Can you find them? As you can see they are masters in disguise. Most of you might be able to recognize the St. John's Sport when they are big plants with big yellow flowers. But to spot them when they are without flowers is a bit more challenging. The John's Sport causes liver failure and this damage to the liver is cumulative and irreversible. Horses will not immediately show signs after eating one plant but they will need to eat a lot of plants and the symptoms will only become visible when the damage to the liver is already too much. Their gums and eye tissue will be more yellow than the normal pink color. They will endure abdominal pain, diarrhea, less coordination, yawning, blindness, they might collapse and even in the worst case scenario they might die. Luckily, horses will only tend to eat the St. John's Wort when there is a lack of food. When there is hardly any grass left on the pasture, it is likely horses might eat the toxic plants. So it's very important to feed extra hay or haylage on the pastures when there is hardly any grass left. This is very important to prevent the horses swallowing sand when they are trying to eat the tiny grass plants. The same holds for hay or haylage given in the stables. When enough good quality hay and haylage is given, horses are not likely to eat the bad or toxic plants in them. As you can see, it's very important to know what these plants look like. We can now spot them easily and remove them from the pastures or hay or haylage. I'm just putting this plant back. But now, as you are an expert on spotting the St. John's Wort, you can easily find it again. Remember how it looked in the beginning? I'm pretty sure you can easily find them all now. I hope next time you can recognize these plants when you put your horse in the pasture and you can take them out to prevent any dangerous situations. I hope you liked the video and for more tutorials, tips and tricks, please like and follow my page. Thank you, bye bye!